Mama. Gang. Because we always hit the nail on the head. So check this out, my Miami Hurricane fans. Now, just want to bring you guys a quick update on a few things that's been going on in Miami, of course. And a little bit mixed in with college football, all Miami related. So before we get into this video, guys, do me a huge favor. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Makes no sense to have thousands of views on a video and not even a hundred of you guys hit the like button. So hit the like button. Um, subscribe to the channel. Share the channel with another Miami Hurricane fan. Don't be selfish. Don't be selfish. That's tough. Now, um, let's get into it though. As you guys can see on the screen here, number zero, safety, James Williams. James Williams undergo surgery, undergo surgery, um, liberum surgery. That's the shoulder. Um, yeah, had a torn shoulder, I guess. So, took care of that. From what I'm hearing, um, with you know, well, speedy recovery or whatever, um, recovery in general. Um, probably be back in the summer. So, you know, what else to say? All right, let's move on. Let's get to the, the next piece. All right, so. That's, a, that's just basically James Williams' surgery went well. Now he's going to go into the recovery mode. Recovery mode. So, yeah. All right. So, a couple days ago, well, maybe a week or so, I reported to you guys that Brian Balaam, Brian Balaam was in the transfer portal. Well, as of today, as you can see on the screen, breaking news, um, Miami DB Brian Balaam withdraws from the transfer portal. Now, this could mean one or two things. Coaching staff told him, hey, get out the portal, my guy. Um, you know, we could really use you. Um, all the other safeties pretty much transfer. So, play time right now and having a veteran um, present, you know, you could be that guy. You know, we thought we would have saw a lot more of him last season because he was tearing it up in spring so that might be one now another option could be hey might want to be a grad transfer might want to you know graduate before you transfer kind of like the Nicosi Perry effect if you know what I mean so we'll see um, I'll monitor this one and see you know how it turns out but as of right now Brian Balaam is out of the transfer portal now transfer portal um, Miami DB, another one. This one's um listed as a cornerback though. Kamari Rogers enters the transfer portal. Now this one, we foreseen it. We knew it was coming. Um, plain and simple. His dad, you know, coaching staff weren't getting along. His mom tweets and everything like that. You know, go down this road every time we talk about Kamari Rogers. But Kamari Rogers entered the transfer portal a day ago. And has already found a new home, Mississippi State. Mississippi State. So he goes over there, and you know, commit to Mississippi State. Now, let's talk about Mississippi State just a little bit. Not going to stay too long on this. Um, R.I.P. to Mike Lynch, Mike Leach. I'm sorry, Mike Leach. R.I.P. to Mike Leach. Um, 1961 to 2022. Uh, passed away recently we heard he was in the hospital under critical condition and you know passed away so prayers up to him prayers up to his family you know um, all our condolences so of course you know with him passing away Mississippi had to you know go they have to replace him um, they'll replace him with my guy here Zach Arnett who is the defensive coordinator. Um, I think he's invested three years already at Mississippi State. He had some offers. Um, I got this information due to ESPN talking about him. So he got some offers for a head coaching job and, you know, decided to stay loyal to Mississippi State, you know. So right now, unfortunately, but fortunate for him, you know, Mike Leach passed away. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's terrible. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't want to be the head coach under these conditions 
But nonetheless, you know, he will, from what I'm hearing, sign a four-year contract to be the head coach at Mississippi State. So um, I'm going to say congratulations to him, but I'm pretty sure he's not feeling very, you know, graduate. Let's let's move on. Um, Justin Flo. Justin Flo. You know, the linebacker that committed to Oregon over Miami. Um, been flirting with Miami a while. You know, Mario Cristobal recruited him to Oregon. Um, former five-star coming out of high school. Hit the transfer border. Now, his career at Oregon's been a little up and down because of injuries. Um, great linebacker, you know, great measurements, great attributes, everything. You name it, he's got it. But injury prone over the years now. As soon as he hit the portal, of course, you know, the chitter, the chatter, Miami, Justin Flo, Mario's here, you know, who, who, where he's going to land. And um, as of today, crystal balls came in, crystal balls came in, um, transfer portal crystal ball, basically, um, Arizona, Arizona, 100%. This is coming from a uh, national recruiting um, analyst, um, Greg Biggins, I'm not sure how you guys feel about, you know, Greg Biggins or whatever, but he's putting in an Arizona. So we'll see how that goes. Will Justin Flo end up at Arizona, somewhere else, or, you know, maybe Miami, who knows? We'll see. All right, and um, last but not least, you guys already know, early signing period. The early signing period is coming up. And, of course, letters go out. Now, this is from Jackson Carver, basically one of our um, tight ends that's committed. He posted the, the photos. So, basically, this is what, you know, the letter of intent is, is going to look like, the cover at least. So, once you open it up, of course, you know, your letter of intent in there. You sign on the dotted line on early signing day or national signing day, whenever you decide you know, you want to come on in. If you want to come early, that's <laughs> that's what that's what we like. And if you want to sign on National Signing Day, we'll take that too. But the quicker the better for us, you know. Sigh, sigh of relief. But all right, guys, there you have it. Um, just give you guys quick news, quick updates, um, some of this information. Maybe some of you guys have already heard. But for those of you that haven't, you know, there you go. Now. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already hit the like button, please do so. Please do so. Man, man, man. Um, quick announcement before I end this video. Um, National Signing Day, early National Signing Day. That's next week, Wednesday. Um, I will be live pretty much all day, all day. Until basically all the guys that pretty much could sign to Miami has already signed. Um, hopefully there's no surprises on our hand. Hopefully the rivals, you know, Florida State and um, Florida, hopefully they get messed over. But hopefully not us, you know, you know. That's tough. That's tough, man. Like, share, subscribe. Teach them why I'm out. Oh!